What's up, modern stutters? Today, we're gonna be making these delicious pumpkin muffins with avocado oil. Mmm. So grab your favorite cup of coffee or tea and let's get started. What we're using today is just a package of Farmer's Market Organic Pumpkin. If you've grown your own pumpkins and you have some pumpkin puree saved aside, great, you're gonna need two cups of it. First, we need to preheat the oven to 350. While the oven's preheated, we're gonna mix all the ingredients together. The recipe calls for three cups of flour, three cups of sugar, four large eggs. We're gonna be using four of our duck eggs today. Uh, calls for vegetable oil, which we don't use here. We're gonna be using half a cup of avocado oil. If you guys have never tried avocado oil before, I su highly suggest you do. It's a, a really good healthy oil for you and you can't tell the difference in your baked goods or in any of your cooking for that matter. Then you're gonna need, believe it's, then you're gonna need one and a half teaspoons of baking soda, half a, half a cup of water, then you're gonna need one tablespoon and two and a half teaspoons of a pumpkin pie spice. Now we're gonna add our three cups of sugar, our 16 ounces of pumpkin, half a cup of water and half a cup of avocado oil, and we're using duck eggs. This is the reason why we got the ducks, is to have their eggs for making baked goods. One of the biggest reasons I really enjoy cooking and baking is that way I know what has gone into the food that me and my family are eating, whether it's a really good quality meal, or if it's a sweet good, or if it's a baked good with lots of sugar in it, at least you have control over what's in there for sugar, how much sugar, and just all the other quality ingredients that's in the food. And then just stir it to all the ingredients are combined. Gonna add one and a half tablespoons of pumpkin pie spice. Two teaspoons of baking soda. Mix those up. Oh, that smells so good. It smells like fall. Then we're just gonna add the three cups of flour. As of right now, these are Olivia's favorite muffins. So we make some large muffins for us. We use the large muffin tins. And Olivia loves the little mini muffins. So we're gonna mix up some mini muffins for her and the bigger muffins for us. We don't like using the paper liners. We hate having all that extra waste. So the way we do it is, is right here we have rendered pork lard from our pigs. So I'll link the video right here and showing you how we render our lard. And then we're just gonna go ahead. Hey, look at that. The oven's ready. We're just gonna wipe down all the muffin tins we're gonna be using. I like to wipe down the top with the lard too, that way if you're making a mess when you're filling up the tins, it's a lot easier to clean. And you don't gotta let it soak that long. We find using this ice cream scoop from Pampered Chef for baking cookies or making muffins works really good and helps keep down on the mess, which is always a good thing. Then 
There I go, making a mess. That's why I greased the top of the pans too. Just wanna make sure we scrape the bowl down and get out as much of this yummy goodness as we can. It's so funny how different smells remind you of different things. Smelling pumpkin just makes you think of fall. And here it is, the beginning of spring, getting ready to plant the garden, hopefully within a few weeks to a month. Oh man, I almost forgot one of our favorite parts. We take a little bit of cinnamon and sugar and sprinkle it over the top. This just gives the Muffins a little bit more of a sweet kick and if you don't want all the sugar you can omit this step. We just find it gives it a little bit something extra. Set the little ones on the top rack and the bigger ones on the bottom rack. You know what that means. Time to check the muffins. Oh, those look nice. Don't those look so pretty? Yep, insert the toothpick. Comes out dry. Awesome, those took about 15 minutes. We'll set them on a cooling rack, but we'll set the kitchen timer for another 10 minutes for the larger muffins and then check them. Oh, don't those just look so pretty? Yes, ma'am. Just to recap, we preheated the oven to 350. The big muffins we baked for 25 minutes. They came out perfect. And then the little ones we baked for 15 minutes. But if you guys like pumpkin, mm, you're really gonna love these muffins. These are Olivia's favorite muffins. And the close second is zucchini muffins. Those are really good too. We only got a little bit left of zucchini in the freezer. So I think we're trying to hold on and stretch that out. So maybe we can get some, a couple more zucchini muffins in before our zucchini start growing again for this season. Hope you guys liked the video. We had fun making these today. I don't know if you guys have ever tried making homemade egg noodles. We made homemade egg noodles last Thursday. We made chicken noodle soup with them. Those were awesome. We don't have a pasta maker or anything, so we just rolled them out by hand and cut them with a knife right on the top of the concrete countertop, and it worked awesome. So if you guys would like to see a video on making homemade egg noodles, leave it in the comments below. And I'd be curious if you've ever tried making egg noodles before and what your success was and what you guys thought of them. And we'll see you guys right back here tomorrow at Lumna Acres. If you liked the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and share it. It really helps.